Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. Today, this is our second game of our triple header. We got the number 10 ranked North Dakota State Bison hosting the Nickel State Colonels in Big 12 action in the Fargo Dome. Should be a good matchup. Both teams, well, I thought Nickel State liked to run the football, but I guess not because, well, let, let me just get this graphic off screen for you and you can see. Why is that graphic on the screen? What is this? Get out of here. Nickel State, 73rd rush offense. Now, if I'm not mistaken, they ran the triple option before. But it does not look like they run it anymore. Maybe they do, and they're just not very good at it, but they got almost 300 yards passing per game. So, it's going to be a different look for them, I believe. Who we got in the chat? Sean Mahan, Carter, Honeycutt, let's go. A couple of bison up in here. Let's do this. Don't forget to slap the like button, guys. Subscribe if you're new and join our Discord community today to get your college football career started. After Not after this game, but after the Savannah State game, which is coming up next after this one. Uh, we're going to be in Week 8. So before the Week 8 actually starts, we're going to be adding some in-season recruits. And I definitely did not share. If, if one of my mods could go in the Discord and share the video and the FCS alerts, that would just be so great because I just clicked out of my YouTube. So I love you all. All right, let's do this. Jay Washington in the chat. Ten-point favorites. The Bison. Okay, okay. Number one rushing offense in the country. 379.6 yards per game, but the dead last passing offense. But that still equals out to the sixth best offense in the country. They also have the 11th best defense. Nickel State with the 22nd best defense, too. So I'm expecting it to be a pretty good matchup. The Colonels have won two straight. And, yeah, it's going to be good, guys. I'm looking forward to it. Let's go Yellow Tops. Let's get it. Jay Washington, Marvin Joseph, Hammer Jammer in the chat. All you beautiful people. All right. Parker Thomas in the chat. What's going on, Parker? Happy birthday, brother. Savannah State going to be coming up after this game. So stick around for that one, guys. Here we are at the Fargo Dome. Little Mike in the chat with a 31-20 North Dakota State victory prediction. I like it. I know I forgot to post the link. Hammer, can you, just, can you share it in the FCS alert channel? I love you. Make sure to tag everyone and at here. All right, here we go. Sean Mahan on for the return. Let's go. And that's face mask. First play of the game. Let's take a look at the offense from North Dakota State, led by junior quarterback Kelvin Jasper Jr. He's backed up by true freshman quarterback Carter Honeycutt, number 16. At halfback, Zuber Speed, Tohoka Nanako, a couple of juniors. And we've also got Michael Gregory and Jet Balmer, two true freshman halfbacks. At fullback, Cameron May. Receiver, Ryan Ermandowski. Tight end, Max Hawthorne. Right tackle, Anders Harliday. And at left tackle is Jake Harlow. There's Cameron May to start it off with a one or two yard carry. Right. A 1,000 to 3 North Coast State win. I, I don't think we'll ever see 1,000 points. I'm just saying. <laughs> Let's get Zoomer speed in motion. Currently second in the Heisman voting. Pitch it out. Zoomer speed up to the 40. Another face mask. That's the second one already. Twenty-nine seconds into the game. Colonel is playing dirty. One hundred minute quarters there. <laughs> oh my goodness! All right, get some get some blocks, please. Who we got? Let's go, Calvin. Let's go. Pitch it out. Jet Bomber. First down and more up to the thirty yard line for the freshman. Look at Hammer with, with the post in the Discord. So clutch. So so pretty. Did I know? I don't even know what TikTok is. What what is TikTok, Parker? Please, someone tell me.
All right, we're at the 29-yard line of Nickel State. Is that that app where everybody's dancing? Is it that stupid thing? I didn't want to do that, but Jasper will pick up a couple yards. I don't need to know. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. Man. All right, second down and nine. Look at those user stats, baby. 253 and 77. I hit the wrong button. Uh oh. And it worked out anyway. Bailey with the catch. Let's go. I, I meant to hit R1 because Zoomer speed was just speeding down the left sideline. Is Easton Stick still slinging the ball? No, we got Kelvin Jasper Jr. as the quarterback. Oh boy, that, that was a disaster of a play. Now, Gunny, this, this series focuses just on you guys, the subscriber and uh, Discord member players. That's it. Come on. He's tired. Pitch it out. Zoomer speed. Touchdown. Touch. Oh, he got it. Touchdown. North Dakota State Bison. Let's go. Yes, that was a bison. <laughs> it's the only bison sound I could find online. Don't hate. Ron Kemp in the chat. What's going on, Ron? Jacksonville would have scored a thousand against Southwest Missouri State in 15 minute quarters. Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> they would have scored at least 250, 300 points. All right, Bison on top, 7 nothing. You're in first. All right. Let's take a look at the defense right quick. That is the offense. Can I actually hit the right one? There we go. Dale Langston at defensive end. Linebacking core is Jeffrey Clark, Austin Bracey, and Zeke Marunde. Oliver Vincent, Sean Mahan, and Rich Rodriguez are the cornerbacks and they do in fact run the option so I don't know what's going on with their their stats per game but it's it's not looking pretty less than a hundred rushing yards per game for them that doesn't make any sense to me at all well, you don't like the stadium sound Jay come on brother come on man first down at 10 for the Colonels Nice tackle. With that, we'll go to the question of the game. Nickel State and North Dakota State had a Klein Classic in Season 1. Who won and by how much? Yes, sir. The Fargo Dome. It's so pretty. Second down and nine. What are they going to do here? Option. And that plays goes nowhere. Austin Bracey on a stop. And Justin Horner, I believe that's the fullback, injured his chest on the play. North Dakota State and a lot. <laughs> but it was a Klein Classic, man. That means it was a good game. Not a blowout. All right, they're down at six. They have a really solid offensive line. Look at that. My goodness. Our D-line, not so much. Try to throw it here. Right side. Oh, my goodness. I was just out of place right there. So we do get to stop. And we get the ball back. Here with 2.45 on the clock. North Dakota State by 24. Guys, do you know what a classic is? What do you mean? <laughs> Come on, get there. Oh, that was so close. Vincent dropped at the 15-yard line. And, of course, you know, since we were so close, let's see. Let's see how close we were. Okay, not even close at all. But, I mean, we were there. We were in the backfield, at least. The 
want my shield in the stadium. What do you mean, sir? Pitch it out. Uh oh. Michael Gregory gonna be stopped for no gain on the play. That was a disaster as well. We've had a couple of those so far in the game. Close enough for government work. <laughs> that is so true. Throw it up. Ryan Erwandowski with the catch, but it's coming back. Really? Come on now. Uh, I don't think you mean government work. I think you mean government. G U B M E N T. Government work. Come on now. You gotta say it right, Hammer. I guess I don't know WWE. You are you are correct, sir. Oh, look at the blocking. Let's go. I, I needed that one, though. What happened? Bison won by a, a safety. Hike punt out of the end zone. <laughs> that would be crazy. I would love to see that. Right, I guess uh, I guess we're throwing it here. Feels weird. Oh my goodness! No, we're not throwing it. Jasper sack for a loss of a million. Browning, a quarterback, playing defense, gets the sack. What do you mean? What is this? Awkward. Don't forget to slap the like button, guys. Only two likes on the video right now. Got to get those like numbers up. So we can get the videos seen by people that are not subscribed to the channel. Get some more players on these teams. All right, let's go defense. Let's do this. Yep, nothing I can do on that one. Good run. You talk to North Dakota State to get them to watch my vids? That'd be pretty cool. Somebody had to put him in a video game, you know? Get him! I got him! Slap the like button like Topsy just saw Cheeks. My goodness. You know, we haven't seen Topsy in a stream in a while. What's up with that? Crowd going crazy. Here in Fargo, North Dakota. Get him! Oh boy, that's a good run. Touchdown, Colonels! Knew that was coming. It was possible clipping right there, but, you know, I digress. Tried to clap the wrong cheeks and it's tied up naked in a basement somewhere. <laughs> oh my goodness. Maybe your personal assistant got a hold of him. Alright, Oliver Vincent. On for the return. Get that block. Can can you come back and block somebody, please? Why are you running downfield, buddy? Alright. Started watching anime. Okay. Not about that life. More power to you, though. I do like me some Dragon Ball Z. But I, I honestly, I don't consider it anime. I grew up. It was on Cartoon Network. It's a cartoon. Don't judge me. Oh no! No! <laughs> oh, 
it wouldn't be a Bison game without <laughs> a Kelvin Jasper Jr. fumble. Or three. That's going to be the end of the first quarter. We're all tied up at seven apiece here in the Fargo Dome. Get him. Come on, we have him stuffed. Can you tackle him, please? Thank you, sir. Second down as well. Uh-oh. Running back is in the zone. Yeah, you're not pitching that, buddy. Let's go. Yeah, Parker, you may want to actually, you know, put the name of the show in the chat. Maybe. I'm just throwing that out there. Trying to help a brother out. Because, you know, Marvin would have to be a psychic to know what you're actually talking about. That's what feels bad. Let's go. Oh, boy. Oliver Vincent got beat. Incomplete. Let's go. Big time play. I'm pretty sure it was just a drop, but we'll take it. I do like those Colonel's uniforms. I like them. I like them a lot. Optimus football and Australian football. Nice. Has Hammer intercepted yet? No, we're in a different game now, Gunny. <laughs> Hammer did not get an interception. Oh, Jet Bomber couldn't get past the first defender. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to take a risk here. I'm going to throw it. Watch out. It's going to be picked off, and they're going to score a touchdown. It's just how it is. Throw it up. Harris. Oh, baby. Harris is gone. Touchdown, North Dakota State. Oh, my goodness. What a throw. <laughs> oh, 84 yard touchdown pass for Kelvin Jasper Jr. Look at this throw. That is just so beautiful. Oh, my goodness. It's so sexy. Wishful thinking, I know, Gunny. He'll get one. He'll get one eventually. And the route begins. Come on, Marvin. It's a one-score game. What do you mean? Is it because the Bison had a touchdown pass? Is that it? The passing touchdown just pushed you over the limit. Nanta Coke on the kick coverage. Uh oh. Look out. Oh, that was a nice back to Oof. He made me look silly on that one. Alright, question of the game, guys. Question of the game. Nickel State and North Dakota State had a climb classic in season one. Who won? And by how much? That is the question. This man is wide open. Oh, nice deflection. Let's go. Second down and 10. Now the goal of the questions is not for you to go back and look at the game. You know, it's just history. That's all it is. But if you'd like to go back and watch the game, that'd be cool. Oh, nice spin. Nice broken tackle. There's a face mask. I'm considering watching some One Punch Man and Sword Art Online. Well, Parker, if you ever figure out what the name of the psychic show you were watching, please let us know. We'll be here waiting. First down and 10 for the Colonels. A 
Come on, baby. Did all I could right there. Uh-oh. Oh, what a spin move. Get him, Oliver. No. Oh, my goodness. What a run for Ewing. His second touchdown of the game. That was nasty. Oh, my goodness. That was just... That was glorious. <laughs> I'm not even mad. That was just awesome. That's right, that's what that's what FCS Classics is for. You are correct, sir. Alright, we're just kinda, you know, like a couple of heavyweights here, just trading punches here in the second quarter. Ankle theft and assault with a deathly shoulder. Yes, sir. Oliver Vincent after getting stiff armed to death on the last play. This is the turn up in the 20 yard line. I think I would like One Punch Man. I do not know. That was a terrible play. Oh, man. All right, second down and 12 from our own 18-yard line. Chugging it deep. Zoomer speed. Oh, that's deflection. Okay, then. Figured I'd take a shot. Why not? All right, third and 12. Number five in the country on third down attempts. 56% conversion rate. Did you hear someone say glorious? Beautiful word. Yeah, uh, yeah. I love saying glorious. It's a glorious thing. That's holding. And wide open. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. Christensen with the holding call. And that's going to make it third down of 21 for the Bison. Oh, baby. Let's try it again, shall we? Throw it up top to Harris. Oh, he dropped it. And we're going to have to punt it away. Hit him right in the hands. Perfect throw from Kelvin Jasper Jr. And this punter is not very good. See if we can uh, try to play some defense now. Colonel's with the momentum at this point. And Lawrence going to pick up five or six yards. Vincent on the stop. Did all I could. Get him, Zeke. Oh, he missed. There's a face mask. Defense, you're making me sad. All right, how do you stop the option attack? What is the record for pass reception? Like, longest reception, Gunny? We have a 100-yard touchdown reception in this series from Michael Hines to Christian Hart, the tight end for the Jacksonville Dolphins. That was against Alabama A&M, I believe. Sit down. Oh, we can't get there. Ewing is so good. He's got three touchdowns. I believe we also have a 99-yard touchdown pass as well. I cannot remember. can't remember who did that one.
All right, so the Colonel's on top right now here in the Fargo Dome. Looking like another Klein Classic here in this little rivalry series. That's what it really is turning into. Nice blocking. Oliver Vincent up past the 40. Oliver Vincent down the left sideline, and he is going to take it all the way. Please, no flags on the field. Touchdown, North Dakota State. We're back in it, baby. Let's go. Excellent information. You are welcome, sir. I do remember some, some big plays like that. I, I do know. But like specific games and stuff, it's so hard for me to keep track of all of them because there's so much football on this channel that I've played. You know, built <laughs> we built our own football universe on here, so it's hard to keep track of singular plays and, and you know, single games. But that's what we got Jay Washington for in the chat. All right, let's try to play some defense now. 149 left here in the first half in Big 12 action in the Fargo Dome. Number 10, Bison. Tied up with the Nickel State Colonels. I don't know if I should stick with um, a front seven or maybe get a 3-3-5 or 4-2-5 defense. Maybe get some more speed out here. Let's go! Austin Bracey with the pick, baby! Let's go! That's what I'm talking about. Now, I do remember the first ever Bison game. He had three interceptions in that game, and I don't think he had another one until the next season. I do remember that. I do. Yeah, you heard a mention of you, Jay. I'm saying you got all the uh, the stat info. You know. You're that guy. Yeah, we throw it here at North Dakota State. What's up? Okay, maybe not. Just take off, get uh, six yards. All right, do we have an eye formation? No, we don't, but we got wishbone. Let's go power option to the left. 86% in the red zone this season. 16 touchdowns, 4 field goals out of 23 tries. we got to be careful of that free safety. He's in the zone. And a nice block. That's a touchdown. Maybe not. No! No, Kelvin! Zuber Speed recovers it at the 1. Oh, my goodness. Please stop fumbling the football, especially when you're still standing. Oh, my goodness. That was almost terrible. Enough to help the EFL analysts and scouts? Yes, sir. And Cameron May is going to punch it in for the touchdown. Bison back on top. Let's go. Just what the doctor ordered. Pretty high scoring affair so far in the first half. I like it. And it's 28 21. Parker, you better watch Sailor Moon. I love that show. Again, another classic that was on Cartoon Network. What's up? You want to actually dive? Please. My goodness. He almost just let him run right by. Which punt return are you referring to, Jay? All right. First down and 10 from the 46-yard line. Crowd going crazy in the Fargo Dome. Get him. Let's go. Good tackle. Second down and six. Yes, 
I guess you need to watch it then. Yes, sir. See? Marvin knows. Sailor Moon is a classic. What's up? Get that pick. Or not. Nice play, though. Third down and six upcoming. Against Tennessee Tech. Oh, I can't remember the punt, man. I can't remember it. Oh, the double murder. Yeah, now I know what you're talking about. I know. <laughs> Good pass. Left side. Should have been another pick. But we do get the stop. We got 41 seconds left. It's been such a good game. I know. I've been enjoying it quite a bit. I think we blew them out last season. But season one was really good. No, get away from it. Let's go. Bounced it into the end zone. We got 34 seconds. And three timeouts left. I got to get the ball in Zoomer Speed's hands. He hasn't really done a whole lot yet so far. Come on, baby. Pitch it out. Zoomer Speed's got it. Let's go. And down at the 40-yard line. He's got five carries, 66 yards and a touchdown. I'm going to call a timeout here. If the replay will ever end. It's 42-17 last season. Yeah, I knew it was a blowout. Season 1 was really good, though. Throw it up. Get it, Bailey. He caught it. Let's go. At the 35-yard line. Calvin out here just slanging the rock like it's nothing. I know, time's running out. You don't have to tell me. Throw it up. Zoomer speed. First down. Call a timeout. We've got one left at the 21 yard line. Chaos driven in the chat. What's going on, brother? You're alive. That's good to hear. The disastrous life of. What is that? Saki K? It's on Netflix? Okay. I feel you. No! Come on. I just needed a split second more. I was hitting triangle. Alright, I guess we're gonna go for a field goal here. 45 yard attempt. I don't know if we got it. Did we get it? We got it. Let's go. 31-21 as we've reached the half here in the Fargo. Dome. Number 10, North Dakota State on top of the Nickel State Colonels. Our next game is going to be Norfolk State at number 7, Savannah State Tigers. That is an ACC matchup. Norfolk State is ranked, I believe, 25th. My graphics guy just forgot the number, apparently. I still love him, though. 10-point spread. I like it. What's the spread for the Savannah State game? Alright, let's go. Crowd going wild. Oh, they're number 22? Got you. Oh, nice spin. Broken tackle. Ewing bouncing around like a pinball out here. He's really good. Second down and inches. Oh my goodness. How did he just run right through that block or that tackle attempt? Come on, bro. What do you mean? It's okay, Hammer. I, I forgive you. It's okay, bud. Get him. Nice tackle. Let's go. Well, I mean, it says they're ranking in the pick -em. I'm just saying. <laughs> so Jay is probably correct. 
Second down and 11 for the Colonels. They're down 10 points here in the third. They hand it off up to... What? What just happened right there? My guy just ran away. Oliver Vincent with a big hit. He went for that fake pitch, and Vincent <laughs> was not fooled at all. No, we're not talking about the Jet Balmer. <laughs> no. We're talking about Savannah State and Norfolk State, brother. Come on now. <laughs> Jeez. Kill him, man. Get him. Nice tackle. Up to 14 viewers now. As Ewing reaches 155 yards for the game. Oh my goodness. Feels feels bad for the defense. He killed Patrick. <laughs> That's punny, man. Real punny. Alright, third down at four. Vincent in the zone at corner. Oh, I got stuck on a blocker. And Ewing is about to go for 200. Hammer, you good, bro. I don't know if he is right now, man. <laughs> He's having a rough day. He dropped like four interceptions today. Missed a couple tackles. He's really just not feeling it. And neither is his defense. Get him. Let's go, Bracey. Nice tackle at the 19. OSU rocks in the chat. What's going on, buddy? How are you? 15 red zone trips on the season. 13 touchdowns, one field goal for the Colonels. Just one miss. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Yeah, where are you going? Where are you going? Nowhere. Get got. And I'll recover it. What's up? Austin Bracey with a forced fumble and a recovery. And he has an interception in this game. Huge play by the junior middle linebacker. Get wrecked, son. Your body may have gotten up this morning, but your mind is still in bed. I know that feeling. I really do. Let's go. Face mask, just a five yarder. All right, let's try it again. Free safety is in the zone for the Colonels. Pitch it out. Let's go, Gregory. Nice run to the 41-yard line. You'd love to see it for the freshman. Cameron May up the middle. Six yards for the fullback. You're going to cut a promo tomorrow? Nice, nice, nice. Gotta love it. All right, second down and four. And off to the fullback again, Cameron May. To the 44-yard line of Nickel State. Only 124 rushing yards for the Bison right now. Number one rushing attack in the country. Offensive line is terrible on the inside. Feels real bad. Okay. Good play. Good play. Pitch it out, Kelvin. Nantico. Oh, man. Up to the 25-yard line. What a hit. He got upended, brother. Nice. 
Sailor Moon is not a girl show. You take that back, Parker. Let's go, Calvin. Pitch it out, buddy. You're tired. Let's go, Zoomer. Let's go. Run right by him. Oh, up to the seven-yard line. Breaking tackle. Six carries, 86 yards, and a touchdown. from the six wide open zoom to speed touchdown bison let's go somebody told you that don't shoot the messenger well you tell them that they're wrong the wrong Parker and that's the bottom line all right 38 21 now starting to pull away a little bit uh, that was clipping hello where's the flag please no flag. Everybody just saw me get clipped right there. Come on now. All right, defense, let's get it. Oh, how did I miss that? Come on, bro. Nanako with the face mask. <laughs> so stupid. Oh, man. I don't know how I botched that play. I should have had the tackle for a loss with Bracey. Completely whiffed on it. Up to 16 viewers now on the stream. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. You're all the greatest. Yeah, another forced fumble for Austin Bracey. Let's go. Jeffrey Clark on the return or the recovery. Let's go. Two forced fumbles now. An interception and a fumble recovered for junior middle linebacker Austin Bracey. Improving his Elite Football League draft stock here tonight against the Colonels of Nickel State. Oh boy, what is happening on this play? What just happened on that play? Oh my goodness, run Calvin! Run baby! <laughs> All the way down to the nine yard line goes the quarterback. That was just such a weird play. Both games started as classics and, and as decisive wins. Nice. I mean, there's still a whole quarter left. Cameron May up the gut to the five-yard line. The answer to the question of the game, which was, Nickel State and North Dakota State had a Klein Classic in Season 1. Who won and by how much? The answer, North Dakota State won by three points. It was 52 to 49 was the final at the end of that game in season number one. That's a loss of three or four for Cameron Mayfield's back. One touchdown on the season for the big fullback. That's the end of the third quarter. Get your fours up in the chat. We got a 17-point ball game here in the Fargo Dome. North Dakota State on top. 38-21 over the Nickel State Colonels in Big 12 action. Speed, touchdown, Bison, let's go. Too easy for the speedster. It's 
Starting to pull away quite a bit now. Bison were 10-point favorites coming into this game. Four play 45 yard drive ended with a zoomer speed touchdown run. He is number two in the Heisman voting. And with this performance here today, expect him to jump up to that number one spot unless Justin Hops from VMI overtakes him for that number one spot. As Harris Gurley currently number one right now, true freshman halfback for Southern Utah. But he has had two pretty poor games back to back. So I expect him to fall. Should you get Streets of Rage 4? Yes. 100%. 100%, sir. Nice play. Let's go. Nantico on the tackle. Second down and five now for the Colonels. At their own 34-yard line. Stick around after this stream, guys. We'll be having our third game. Oh, boy. That might be a touchdown. Get him, Barry. Down at the 30-yard line. Let's we'll stick around for our next game, guys. It's Norfolk State, number 22 in the nation, traveling to take on the seventh-ranked Savannah State Tigers in ACC action in our final game of Week 7. After Week 7 is over, we'll be adding some in-season recruits. All you got to do is join our Discord community today, and we'll get you in there. You'll be on the field for our Week 8 games for one of our 12 schools. The link to the Discord is in the description below. Oliver Vincent in the zone at cornerback for the Bison. Another big hit for Austin Bracey. Let's go. 39 tackles, four picks on the season. He's a beast. I don't know how many four fumbles he's got. We've got two this game. I know that much. All right, second down to 13 after that loss by the quarterback. Uh-oh. Nice tackle. Let's go. Pretty good run by the quarterback. They are destroying the right side of the defense. Feels real bad. They're down to three for the Nickel State Colonels. I'm not sure what's happening over there, but they got a man stuck. call a timeout game glitched I know it would have been a play of game but I don't want to cheese it like that not about that life they're down in three they're gonna throw it look out almost picked off and I believe that was Sean Mahan on the deflection and they're gonna go for it here fourth down and three from the 23 yard line of the Bison Let's go. Option. Oh, he's got it. That's a face mask, too. No, it's a holding. Oh, my goodness. So they're going to back up anyway. Making it fourth down and 13. The coach is livid on the sideline. Absolutely livid, my friends. Quick pass. Oh, he drops it. And there's a holding again. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, we're going to decline that, obviously. My goodness gracious. That drive went from bad to worse for them. Just in a heartbeat. It was good for a second. Aaron May up the middle. Big fullback. Picks up three or four yards up that gut. Time to milk the clock a little bit here. Check out our players. Again, the interior line is terrible for us, but it's okay because our backfield is very nice. Cameron May is going to be stuffed. That's a 
feels bad moment. A big old bucket of feels bad. Hammer, that graphic you just sent me, just, oh my goodness. Makes me all tingly. What's up? Don't hate. Come on, Calvin. Pitch it out. Jeff Balmer gets the first down the 43-yard line. Zoomer Speed is in the zone at halfback on the right side. Let's move him back to the backfield. Nope. Picked up eight yards, though. Career numbers, look at those. Oh, my goodness. He needs 16 yards receiving to get 1,000 for his career. You know we do this. You know we do this. Zoomer speed. Over a thousand yards receiving in his career now. Let's go. I had to do it, guys. I had to. Once I saw that stat, I needed to do it. Jasper, 6 of 8, 170 yards, 3 touchdowns. Oh, my goodness. One of his better performances throwing the football. Free safety in the zone again for the Colonels. And we're going to run it straight at him. Let's go. Oh! Oh, that was nasty. Oh, my goodness. That man's jockstrap just flew right into the stands right there. Touchdown, North Dakota State. Oof. That was a big old sheesh moment right there. He's so fast and agile, it's insane. Got the 50 burger for the bison. And it's 52 to 21 here in the Fargo Dome. This got bad. <laughs> Just a little bit, Ron. Just a little bit. Get him, Oliver. Good tackle by the corner. Let's go. Super speed averaging 19 yards a carry. That's just ridiculous. It's so hard to defend him in the option offense. Like, how do you defend him? He's just running alongside the quarterback, waiting for the pitch. And once he gets it, he's so fast. Another big hit for Austin Bracey. <laughs> Let's go. They're down in six for the Colonels. They're one for five on third downs in the game. Another big hit for Austin Bracey. <laughs> Let's go. Get him out of here, coach. He's done. Watching two classics, you get hungry and get 250 burgers. I like it. Yeah, those computer versus computer games were pretty good. Not a lot of offense, but really close games. I enjoyed them. Cameron May, the fullback, still going. Oh my goodness. All the way into Colonel territory. Yeah, we'll just decline it. We don't need it. There's just nobody on the outside right there. I think that defense finally getting, you know, pretty worn down now. Honey got some playing time. 
Get him a couple carries here. Okay, Honeycutt. What you got, buddy? Oh! Oh, the wiggle sticks. Oh, no! Honeycutt! <laughs> Inside the 25. Let's go, freshman. That's what I'm talking about. Good effort. Yeah. Hey, you ride that horse. I don't even care if you get the penalty. Let's go. That was just nasty. Look at that run. Oh, that's their star free safety. And he just made that man's look silly. All right, we'll, we'll end it there. <laughs> Zimmer Speed, player of the game for the Bison. Ewing, player of the game for the Colonels. Both running backs popped off here tonight. Honey cut with the honey and the cuts. Yes, sir. And that, my friends, is going to do it. North Dakota State's going to win this one 52-21 over the Nichols State Colonels. Like I said before, our next game coming up about five minutes after I end this stream is going to be the Norfolk State Spartans, number 22 in the nation, traveling to take on the seventh-ranked Savannah State Tigers in our Week 7 finale here in season number three of the FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. Bison improved to five and one. Let's go. Savannah State by 40. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no love for the Spartans. All right, let's take a look at these stats real quick. Really not any, like, crazy stats on the offense, to be honest. Just a lot of uh, big hits from Austin Bracey in this game. My goodness. He was everywhere. The Bison trampled Nickel State just a little bit. It was close for a minute. Yeah, they were. it was tied 21-all. And <laughs> they never scored again. And we just turned it on. After that 104-yard kick return for a touchdown by Vincent, I mean, all the momentum was in our favor. And we just cruised. Jasper, 6 of 870 yards, two touchdowns, no picks. Sacked twice, long of 84. Speed, 126 yards, three touchdowns. May with 43 and a score. Jeff Ballmer, 36 yards. Jasper with 36. And Honeycutt, two carries, 24 yards. Nana Coke with an 18-yard carry. Michael Gregory, two for 11. There's so many players on this roster that get the football. Two fumbles for Calvin, of course. No surprise. Zimmer Speed with a touchdown reception. Michael Harris, true freshman. He is available for customization. This could be you. Just join our Discord community, and we'll get you in there. Any drops? Any drops? Yeah, one drop for him. 12 pancakes for Jake Harlow. One sack of loud. Harlow, they have five pancakes. Erwin Dowski with four. William Berry, another freshman available for customization. The starting free safety. Nine tackles. Austin Bracey had nine as well. Goodness gracious. Not a whole lot of stats for the secondary, really. I mean, Berry, he had nine tackles, but that was, that was pretty much it. Nobody else in the secondary did a whole lot. I think Vincent had a couple tackles. And Sean Mahan, I think, had one tackle as well. Bracey, two forced fumbles, one recovered. Clark had a fumble recovery as well. And a kick return for a touchdown for Vincent. 104-yarder. And that is going to do it for this one. Ewing, Silva, Cleveland, players of the game for the Colonels. Speed, Bracey, and Vincent, players of the game for the Bison. Let me get this graphic up here. Number 22, uh, Norfolk State. Traveling to Savannah, Georgia to take on the 6th ranked Savannah State Tigers. So the graphic is just all sorts of wrong hammer. What's going on here, buddy? And let's see. Hold on one second. I just want to see. Where is it? There we go. I want to see the longest kick return for a touchdown. So... Oliver Vincent at 104 yarder. That ties 
Zach Pryor from UC Davis for the second longest kick return for a touchdown in series history. Zoomer Speed has the longest with a 105 yarder. Nice little uh, interesting tidbit of stats for you right there, guys. But again, that is going to be it for this stream. Give me five minutes. I'll get the Savannah State stream all set up, and we'll get that ready to go. It's 22 ranked Norfolk State at number six Savannah State. Me and Hammer are going to just have a couple words uh, in the Discord and a little quick little DM, see what happens here. And, uh, you know, <laughs> I love you, Hammer. But, yeah, that's it from you guys. Slap a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. Join the Discord. The link is in the description below. Take it easy, guys.